This is the Mini Mariners interviewing manager Marcus Bigner. Apart from three points at Doncaster, what would be the best Christmas present for you? Ooh. Well, obviously three points that will do for me to start with. But I'm a very greedy person, so I want more. So I tell you what, I'd like three points against Doncaster and then I'd like to open another present just after Christmas and another three points at home against Accrington. What's the best football game you've played in? Oh. Maybe the game when we um, won League Two and also that was with Rushton and Diamonds and then also promotion with Queen's Park Rangers out of League One. So any game that we've we've won a league or we've won a trophy or a cup final. Who is the better footballer, you or your brother? That goes without saying, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I never get that, it's me. What's the best football game you've managed? The best football game I've managed, um, and again, I'm all about winning and I know I shouldn't be saying this message to you know it's all about taking part but winning is also nice so the games with Sully or Moores winning all those games to win the league um, so to have a promotion on your CV as a football league manager is always nice so those 42 games I had with Sully or Moores. Did you have a chat to your brother before you became manager here? Yeah of course he told me all about the football club um, the staff and its players and he was nothing but complimentary um, of the football club and having came in um, everything he said um, was right um, really good genuine people um, and the football club I'm proud to manage Is there anything in your playing career that, w that you will change? Um, no, I've been very fortunate. Um, probably the only thing I would change, but probably then my career wouldn't have went the way it did, and certainly management and coaching was probably when I was an apprenticeship apprentice at Birmingham City, was getting that pro contract and playing for the first team. But maybe I wouldn't have taken my coach's badges that early then, so maybe I wouldn't have been here today. And I'm certainly enjoying life as it is now, so. Not a regret, but I would have liked to have played for Birmingham City, so one day I might as well just manage them. What appealed to you, to you most about managing Grimsby Town? First and foremost, I wanted the opportunity to work in a full-time game and become a, a football league manager. And normally, when you get a job, normally you're out of a job um, and you're going to a football club uh, but generally struggling to already have been in a job uh, and having been successful in that job to then have the opportunity to come into a full-time full -time club but also doing well as well. Um, it's very rare for a manager to move club to club which both clubs are doing well so um, great to get the opportunity but even better to get it with a club like Grimsby because like I said that the people here um, are really good people but there's a project and I really feel this club um, can be successful and it's a project for me rather than a job it certainly feels like we can go on to much bigger and better things What do you think will be harder? Building a football club at Sihill or managing in the football league with Grimsby? I think my time at Sully Hall has definitely grounded me and put me in um, a good place um, for the challenges now in the Football League. So um, for me, I feel I'm equipped and I'm ready um, for this next stage in my career. And hopefully I can be successful again, um, just like my previous job. And hopefully my management can mirror my playing career and I can get the football club into higher divisions, can I say that? Do we want promotion? Yeah, League One, then Championship. That would be a good one. Why not? Let's have a go. Okay.
Who is the manager you most aspire to be like? Um, it's not a case of trying to aspire to be like. I've certainly had very good managers. I've been looking probably all in all the clubs I've played for. They've all been really good managers, and I've I've learnt a lot a lot off all of them. But I'm very much my own person, and like I said, I you know I, I just love learning, and I look at managers now in the Premier League, and you know all the good managers we have there. I'm, it's just about learning, and I've learnt a lot of all the managers I've played for, and I'm still learning enough managers. I see on telly as well. What football team's results do you always look out for and why? Um, obviously Sully or Moors because it's still close to my heart and we built a football club there. Um, so I look for them. I look for Birmingham City's results because I'm a big Birmingham City fan. Um, so those would be the two, two results. And then obviously my brother's results uh, who plays for Newport now. So those would be the three results I look for. We've just got one final question here. Our mums seem to think that they are aspiring football managers after their chairman's challenge success like last season. What advice do you have for them for next year's game? Can you repeat that again? <laughs> we manage the chairman. We have a match at Grimsby Town Chairman's Challenge. All, it's the legends game, now, isn't it? Yeah. Where ex players come back and they play against fans that pay oh, right to play. Right. So yeah. you, you'll have to get involved. But we managed the team last year yeah. to a narrow 1 0 defeat. Quite well. We did. And we did now, fantastically well. We now think we're equipped to be football managers ourselves after this game. Right. So, so have so you any tips for us? First of all, yeah. I like your confidence <laughs> that you're equipped. So I think um, let's have some more games more often and then we can see how good you really are. PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. Chicken nuggets or fish fingers? Chicken nuggets. Books or movies? Movies. Tea or coffee? Neither. I don't like any hot drink but I'll just go tea. Winter or summer? Oh, summer. Chinese or Indian? Oh, tricky. Ah. Ah. Probably Indian, I've probably had more Indians than Chinese. Cardio or weights? Oh, I need cardio now and weights. <laughs> Both, sorry. iPhone or Android? Oh, iPhone. Fruit or veg? Fruit. Chocolate or sweets? Oh, ah. Chocolate. Messi or Ronaldo? Ah, oh, tricky one. If I'm a manager, I'm signing Ronaldo. I know it's a quick fire round, so I won't take too long. But the beautiful game is messy. Seaside or city? Oh, I've got to say seaside now, but I am a city boy. I am born and bred in the middle of the city. Um, but now I'm loving the seaside life, so seaside for me.